guys cut through it. Every year, there's something. If something's not right, or uh, one year I think the man that was up here earlier said I, got, I told him I got mad. I, my boat came with a single trailer, which I don't like for towing a 20, 21 foot boat. It had a single trailer on it. Didn't, don't, I think it had brakes, but it had a, a T25 uh, EFI on it. And that's when the Optimax just came out. And I was all excited about getting the Optimax, and I pull up to my, and I see the boat, and I was like, Where's my boat? And it's right in front of it. It's a single axle, it's all high and stuff, so that's just typical. There's always something like that. But uh, I'm all into uh, organization. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. And I got I, right now. I, I, I have a concrete floor in my garage in the basement, and I, I use some high density foam stuff, which I have videos on. So you can use it all over your boat. And there's amazing uses for it. My, my hot foot, I got padded on there. I super glued it there. Uh, my trolling motor panel, I super glued to that. Underneath all my compartments, I put it. I put ridges up so it keeps the boxes in there in the bottom of the compartment raised. So if you do get water. You see a compartment open, I have a phoenix shell. It happens sometimes. You'll have a compartment open, a wave will come over the back. Kind of similar if you guys watch Chris Lang get swamped. That happens quite a bit. Especially when you're back, you know, I might have a partner back here, Marshall sitting here, so all the weights in the corner. And if a wave splashes over, it goes to your compartment, it's a disaster. So if your boxes are sitting like normal, they will flood. So I get a bunch of elite guys now that text me and want to know what super glue I use to glue the ribs in there. But the, you know, I use the same stuff and cut strips and raise the boxes just that much. So the water, and I cut a drain hole out and stuff, so it's just, if that does happen, there's no damage. I mean, minimal. Um, so that's my, why well, I try to organize everything like that, because uh, I'm on the water, like, you know, a lot. And water's uh, not very good, nice on bait. You know, trouble hooks and stuff, spinner baits especially. Anything with a spinner bait or a skirt gets attack or especially if you leave a like a rubber a, a piece of plastic on some or a hook it just rust. So I actually sealed everything like my boat's pretty much water sealed. I spent about two days doing it. I guess I got videos on YouTube. I had my mom my wife went out there and videotaping me like cut pieces and glue them up but it's real it looks like a after you get done with it, it looks like the company did it. And I got so I got I took a boat that was about normal waterproof and I took it and I keep and I put weather stuff in there. Now it's space that I can go on Lake Erie and, and submarine all day, and I might get this a little bit of splashes in there. And the only time I get water in there is when I actually open my compartment up, some water will splash in there. But besides that, it stays, all my compartments are completely dry. That's the only thing I've heard of, I'm sure. But I've got to get, but I've put a lot of work into it, like two days to do it. So uh, otherwise, I have all my boxes in compartments. I have pictures, you know, like I can, afterwards I can show you pictures of my storage systems, but they don't sponsor me, so that works. It's like the Tupperware containers, but they're like instead of like eight or nine bucks at Lowe's, these are like twenty bucks, and I can't find them anywhere. You gotta go online and find them. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Snapware. But it's really cool as a lid. They're waterproof as long as you, you know, pull the handle off and hot glue it. Because you guys will like that. I'll show you pictures. You got hot glue holes, and then uh, that makes the lid waterproof. It's got a handle on, which I don't need. And, but all the Plano boxes you can go with here fit perfectly in there. Like it's like it was designed for those Plano boxes. They're certain size boxes. There's like three different box sizes of snapware that I use, and all of them I can I can fit them in there like a puzzle. And once you get them all in there, you can label them. Or I use just some uh, pen like that here, and I just label them like DT10 or three like XDs, and it's amazing how much you can fit in a box this big. That would usually take up, you know, they bring in a big box that would take up like this much space. So that's our that's my key to have. Everything with me I might need, which is I'm all I'm positive I had the biggest arsenal on tour in my boat. Like as far as different things go, uh, it kind of like be able to have you know everything. I mean everything, flies, belly spins, uh, all this my scrounger baits, um, every all the good crankies I think are good, which is a lot of them. I, I know a lot of guys use the same stuff. Uh, you know we I don't have a bait sponsor right now. I can talk about whatever I want. It's like, the Enigma is my rods, and right now it's just rods, so I'm kind of like free. I've never felt so free before. Uh, so I actually spent, uh, I got a tackle shop having gone into my garage that was all lined up, and I had stuff in there I haven't looked at in 10 years. But it's good stuff. I, I use some other company stuff to try to catch fish on, but this stuff I always believe is better. And I brought all this old stuff back out and had to change hooks on it. But it's a big task, and I'm like three quarters of the way done. I got one more day. I get to the rest of today, and I, I might miss church tomorrow, which is sad, but my pastor will understand. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to sleep about four or five, five o'clock every night. Just a diet, middle of the night, it's, there's no way. There's not my kids. I, I try to spend as much time with my kids. I have a seven and 11 year old, which is the hardest part of it. And for some reason, they go to sleep at eight o'clock, and 